Oh, uh, now my face is working over here. It's just as overexpressive. Fabulous. But yeah, I figured out this is a uh, one where I can have a little tablet where I can draw. It's kind of neat. I feel like it loses out on a lot of the other movement. Like, the more I move my head right now, it's not moving very far. Only one program gets to use the webcam at a time. The webcam is monogamous. Only dates one program at a time. Welcome to my stream, I made it myself. <laughs> Here's my fucking tablet pen. Might have to go on a quest. <laughs> there we go. All right, I got tits. You guys wanna see tits? So now if I press F9. <laughs> Wait. Hey. Where's a burger? I want the burgers. Give me the burgers. Yeah. The burgers are supposed to stink. Yeah. The burgers stay. How many burgers can I get? <laughs> I need to set a button up for you guys so you can feed me burgers. And then I need to figure out Blender so we can turn this into sushi. Oh my god. You guys could feed me sushi. Uh. Oh no, they're gonna disappear. No, I want my burgers to stay forever. <laughs> After being an adult, I cannot cry over pixelated burgers. It, it's time to draw. <laughs> this gets burgers. How do I set it up so you guys can use tits? It's literally called tits. T-I-T-S. Twitch integrated throwing system. I literally bought tits for 15 bucks. I did not think I was ever gonna say I bought tits for 15 bucks, but lo and behold. Burger. Burger! God. Oh, it has the highest spawn chance too. Feed me! <laughs> I just want a burger! There's so many of them. Give me one. Yeah. Alright. The burger. I want the burger. Can I? I can almost eat it. I love you, burger. Oh, okay. I'll stop. I'm gonna stop interacting with the shit on the screen. This is too fun. Oh, you guys want to see my Halloween costume? <laughs> you want to see what 3 a.m. Gremlins cuts us do? It's. It's. It's October, let's do it, hold on. Um, I, I spent the last week under my gremlin rock. Dude, I didn't do too much for myself for my birthday as far as like getting myself anything. So I'm like, you know what? We just passed it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend some time updating my model. It's how I interact with my community. I just went on like a boot camp, camp basics. Cause like this model has been a cumulative effort over nights of just spending a little bit of time working on how to use Vroid. And then it was like, okay, how do I do a horn? Okay, how do I do her hair? And then I kind of slowly sculpted her over time because unlike a 2D model where if, like how my chibi model bugs out, I have to pay for the program and I have to re-rig the whole thing. All right, we've saved. Oh my God, can you even see my mouth? I am Bob Ross. I am Bob Ross for Halloween. Let's <laughs> get Ross. But Ross, I am pretty impressed with the goatee. I feel like it needed to have the side hair on. My mom was the one who bullied me into it. Should make Scott's Bob Ross for Halloween. And I'm like, I will mom. Cause that's fucking amazing. And it honestly, it works. The cool thing was, is I made enough off of bits from K-Bonk that it essentially paid for tits. K-Bonk paid for tits. Whoever came up with the name of that program, they they knew what they were doing. I love that it's actually just fucking called, it's just, it's just called tits. That's T-I-T-S. Like if, you, if you've ever watched a show and there's just like these messy tangles of relationships and like people who like will and won't talk to each other and okay, these guys like each other and these guys, like that's literally what VTube programs feel like. It's like, okay, which click do you belong to? Okay, this program does not wanna vibe with these ones, okay. I have a book of hidden knowledge. Uh, honestly, my, my fucking brain hurts. My head hurts. My fucking head hurts from trying to improve the back end of VTube. There's another reason I've been putting off on trying to upgrade it is because like, <sighs> it's translating jargon. That's my favorite. 
So I don't know why, I guess, and I'm just going to tell you guys in case you guys don't know. It's one of the ways I've gotten by learning just about anything, especially if it's something that's got really heavy jargon. So like I'm trying to figure out what the hell stuff means and then I just essentially create a key for acronyms and then translate stuff into basic, more understandable language. But it's the only thing I feel like school was good for. It taught me how to learn and it's not the one shit. I just learn whatever the fuck I want now. I'm like, um, yeah, you wanted me to turn my homework in, but instead, look what I figured out how to do. <laughs> oh no, what did I say the other day? Oh god, it was about spiders. Oh, I think we were talking about, like, if fourth dimensional beings could appear to us, would they? And if so, like, would we be able to understand what we were seeing? And I was like, well, maybe that's what spiders are. And like, that's the best that we can process them. And he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, that's why so many people have spiders of phobias and why we think they move weird. Maybe they're just like, they're fourth dimensional. And he's like, what do you mean? Ah, and I'm like, <laughs> thanks Zay Zay. And I'm like, well, why else do you think they have eight legs? You know, but to deal with four dimensions. And he was just like, God damn it. That makes too much sense. I want the bear, not a banana burger. We got one burger. How many burgers do I get before I get a bear? Even th though the burger has a higher spawn point than the bear? Yeah. Okay. I need to set that up. I really do. <laughs> I want more burgers. I got one burger. Burger. No, oh, it's a fish. Not two fish. Burger. Yes! Uh, I get too excited. I made the mistake of finding out how much mayonnaise I could have. I got sent some soybean oil-free mayonnaise. And oh my god, I kid you not, it brought tears of joy to my face that I ate a motherfucking tuna sandwich that tasted like a fucking tuna sandwich for the first time in like five years. Oh god, I could have egg salad can have deviled eggs but the mayonnaise it's so expensive so and little little treaties just for me once in a while but I can at least have like <laughs> moist sandwiches again I want to I want to go make burgers <laughs> my chicken really likes beef though I feel like if I make burgers I'd have to make my chicken a burger be like oh I made a chicken burger and you're like oh is it a burger made of a chicken I'm like no it's a chicken burger as in a, a burger for my chicken I love my chicken you know what? At least if I have to use my brain, I'm, I'm, this is the way I'm down using my brain right now. Don't give me math. I was trying to DM on Friday after spending Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday trying to learn about different things about the VRM files and like which things can export where and do what. There were a few times we were just trying to do some basic math, dealing with NPCs and like some basic stats. It's like roll a wisdom save for the whatever and I'm like what would their strength modifier be? I'm like looking at the numbers and then I'm trying to like add while I'm trying to, I'm like, uh, 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 the numbers, they scare me. I don't want to do this. Thankfully, I'm already really slow at math. Yay. So most of the players are already like ready to do, like you guys, you guys get bored waiting for me to do the fucking math. You're already on it. I'm like, I feel so bad. I was the kid you picked for the art projects, not the kid you picked to, to, to do stuff in math class with. I have the dyslexia. I fucked up once and I think I shorted myself like 20 bucks on a commission. And I just like, I never said anything. Cause like I spelled all the math out and I'm like, did they look at my math and realize it was bad? Or when I did the math and I told them the total, did they just trust my math to be good? And I was like, well now I'm like, I'm not gonna go back and like ask them for more when I told them that the total was that. And so now I really try to double check the math cause I fucked up once. So I chose to learn my lesson the hard way rather than ask somebody for an extra 20 bucks. I think it's sometimes bad when stuff does stuff for you because then you don't learn to do it yourself. But in the case of roll 20, what it's actually done is when you hover over it, it shows you which modifiers and everything it's adding to the dice rolls. And so that's been really helpful for me to actually learn which ones to add. And over time, I'm like, okay, 
there's something about the way it writes it out visually that I'm like, oh, and being able to just gloss over it, it's finally made its way into my brain. Yeah, math on the commission price is always hard. Usually you just leave it up to me. Yeah, yeah, because I do stuff kind of a la carte. So if you get complicated outfits or extra character bits, like those are basically like add-ons. And so like with character sheets, it'll be like, okay, front and back is, you know, a hundred dollars or whatever. And then the side view is 50 and then whatever else. So that like when I say that the total is what the total is, I'm like, okay, it's easier to see where it all came from and that's that's for me too because that means I can work on a sliding scale where people with you know not armor character designs don't have to pay the same price as somebody getting a bikini you know <laughs> there's a range there's a range to be your favorites are the pay what you want because it's usually like here's a hundred do what you feel is right pretty much on those if it's if it's over like a hundred or over a hundred and twenty I feel very little reason not to Paint. I just want to do digital paint. And I'm like, oh, don't do it. I'm like, oh, don't do it. And I'm like, but it's over the threshold. I can. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Um, I would like 1,000 eyeballs, please. My, uh, my character is basically a biblically accurate nightmare. I'm like, hmm, yes. And all the mouths, yes. So many teeth. Oh, man. Definitely, I want to I want to paint some mimics because like, oh my gosh, look, what was I looking for? Did I tell you guys what I was looking for? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, scary. What did I just open? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that was a misclick. <laughs> Delete the VOD. Oh my God. <laughs> this is where we need the scared face. I know, I wasn't trying to open that one. Shh. Well, let's say this one. This one made me want to draw mimics just because it was like so many teeth. But like this is, yeah, it's it's one of those ones where after a certain point, I'm like, okay, I will go, I will have fun. Paint all the teeth, this was super fun. Anyways, oh, Scott, Scott Ross is not expressive enough for the way I feel right now. Oh man, I can change the focal length. <laughs> This is, like, I'm going to look at you <laughs> through the doorbell? Is that what the- I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to stop. I don't know how many times I will go and open a Pepsi and I'm like, you know what? This would go great in the freezer. And then it's flat because it froze. I'm like, hmm. I don't know why I keep trusting myself to remember. Ooh, it's spooky season. I feel like I should play like a scary, like a scary game, but I don't know what one. You could now see when I climb up my chair more or less. It was fun that the PNG tuber was easy to like start out with, but oh man, there was so much movement that it does not have. The amount of moving that I did. I'm sure this model already picks up like when I dance to my music and shit more. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Life is stressful enough. I don't usually find entertainment in things being overly stressful. Except for screaming at my Pokemon in a, in a Nuzlocke. That, that's, you know, that that's a different territory. Right up there with Danis being an idiot. Oh my god, Danis. Dude, the tieflings made me so mad. Is that why I, I needed a break? Danis! I feel like I'm just gonna have to start importing my manis from the UK. Because you guys make it with canola oil over there, basically. Which I can actually have. I'm like, what the f- It has, like, some- trace ingredients that I have to be careful with but like I have to eat an inappropriate amount of mayonnaise for it to make me inflamed so we're good <laughs> ooh 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 and um um it's not uh okay so I like Nutella but I don't think I can have Nutella again I think it's the soybean oil uh but uh there's like a crunchy a crunchy spread? It's like a chocolate, a spreadable chocolate with little bits of like the crunchy texture of like the, the crunchies bars in them. It's so nice. 
I, I feel like it would go good on like some graham crackers or something, but I don't have any. So I put a scoop in my ice cream and uh, yeah, that, that that slapped pretty hard. I was like, that's pretty good. I can't put it in everything though. I just, I just, I only got to try it. Which button makes me scoot? Why is it so hard to remember which one moves me? Ah, oh, there we go. Is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. I tried to give myself hoof shoes. Well, I wanted to give myself Clydesdale hooves, but you know. We, we're we're not there yet, so I I took the uh yeah oh yeah so here's what I was gonna show you so all I did was take the boots and I just added the dip on the front like the hooves I've been really enjoying shading textures I'm not gonna lie and then here's the bottom of the boots they also hooves but because I don't know how to what I'm doing with the, okay Scott's come back down here because I don't know what I'm doing with the textures the backs are like that's see-through technically I don't know if you can see through it but like there's nothing there I just literally erased the heel texture off but I basically I fucked around with what was there to make myself hoof boots so I want to fuck around with it further and see what else I can do how the fuck do I make myself a Clydesdale we will get there one day. I don't think I can do that with what I have available with the, the boots and stuff there, but we'll see. <laughs> what if I draw left-handed? <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me now. I'm am the goddamn dexterous. Oh god. Seriously, here we go. Let's see what happens. At least I'm trying to do flats. Drawing left-handed. I'm drawing left-handed. Even though Scott still is drawing right-handed. I could do lefty flip, but that actually takes mess of my stuff. They assume that you're left-handed or right-handed, so you have to go in and like flip everything manually, because generally people don't just like start drawing with their other fucking hands. What else would you want to see? Like, what would be a fun costume idea to try to do? Or should I just try to make a kobold? Hopefully my shoulder is good for tomorrow, because otherwise I'm gonna yeet myself into like the fucking outer atmosphere. <sighs> I just want to draw. I wanted to figure out my VTuber and I did. And now I want to draw.